Here are three tips you can copy from the Berrettini forehand to help improve your forehand. Now, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I'll put their link in the description below. So let's watch his forehand a few times in a row, and then we'll analyze it. Such an incredibly powerful forehand. The first thing I want you to notice is that his racket, starting from the ready position, never pauses. So from the ready position to contact, the racket never stopped. This is called a C swing. It's also called a loop swing because the racket basically draws the letter C on its way to the ball. So please film yourself hitting forehands and make sure that you're not just going straight back and straight forward or going straight down and then to the ball, which requires you to stop. Go up slightly on the way back and draw a C with your racket. It's going to make sure that you're not late when your opponent hits fast and deep. It'll also allow you to build up momentum and crush the ball. The second idea is closing the racket phase. This is so important. Prior to hitting a topspin forehand, your string should face down. This is one of the most common ways that professionals impart a tremendous amount of topspin. When your strings face down, it gets your strings to face forward when you're striking the ball. Many recreational players at this point right here have their racket straight up and down. If your racket's straight up and down, meaning you could balance a coin on the edge of the racket and your strings are facing off to the side, by the time you get to the ball, your strings will be facing wide open. This is why Beginners hit the ball over the fence all the time because in the back, they have their strings straight up and down. You want your racket face closed prior to hitting the ball. That is going to correct that mistake for beginners and it's going to get your strings to face forward. The last idea is taking the racket from below your hand to above your hand. When you watch him hit, you'll notice that his hand goes from here to here, right? So you can see the distance that his hand moved. But watch the distance the racket moves in that same amount of time. The racket travels from below the hand to above the hand. Work on this. This is going to help you to get more topspin. Have the feeling that you've got a circular swing, the strings are closed prior to contact, and that you're taking your racket from below your hand to above your hand. You're going to hit great topspin because of it. Now, the best way to practice these techniques is at home with a Topspin Pro. You can get a Topspin Pro using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. I absolutely love the Topspin Pro, and I know you will too. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Go out and film yourself hitting topspin forehands. Use a circular swing, close your racket face prior to contact, and work on having the racket go from below your hand to above your hand. You do this, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.